The numbers are troubling and according to healthcare workers, most likely underreported. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli listens to the concerns of medical professionals confronting violence in the workplace. I've been threatened with knives, guns. It's a reality for healthcare workers. Hit, punched, kicked, spat on. Nurses, doctors, and others ready to administer care. Staff members have been, you know, injured or verbally abused or assaulted. Can come face to face with violence from the Mercy Hospital deaths. Offenders heading out the ambulance bay with a nurse. To the kidnapping of two nurses and the rape of one by an inmate treated at Delnor Hospital. There are roughly 25,000 workplace assaults reported each year. The vast majority, 75%, occur in healthcare and social service settings. It's uneasy, it's scary at times. Should a hospital really be an environment where there's a guard at every door? Uh, you know, it's becoming to that point where we have to do that. Laura Friedenfeld coordinates emergency response programs at Rush University Medical Center. They include annual active shooter drills and weekly staff role play discussions. It takes training. In emergencies, many hospitals now teach staff to run, then hide, then fight. It could mean leaving a patient's side. It's kind of like asking a mother sometimes to leave a child. But surviving that moment may keep them alive to come back and help. You know, you have to keep yourself safe, but you also are focusing on centering the patient. So we have emergency drills, but in the moment, I think it would be difficult for all of us to be ready for that. Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. A new Illinois law takes effect January 1st, requiring all health care facilities to provide violence prevention and training and offer whistleblower protections for workers who report assaults.